Uh, this is going to be the existing HVAC system that we have on the interior portion, guys. We're looking at a 20 and 3 quarter inch width uh, furnace. And then we have 60 inches of clearance all the way from the top to the bottom of the system. The cold air return is pretty not accessible. Um, we are going to be doing an air handler, a heat pump, a humidifier, a air scrubber, pristine air, and a Wi-Fi thermostat all for this new system. We do have the water heater directly here that we can tie the line to. I'd probably kind of keep it out of the way if we can to tie the humidifier into. You'll have space either on this side or when we redo the plenum, you'll probably have more access on this side. And that might be the easiest way to go is just put the... Um, humidifier on this side i think would be easier you can also run the pristine air is going to be most likely bat down here on a small base cam um, just to make sure we have space and then we're going to need to redo this entire plenum access because it's so small i was thinking we're just going to retie into this guy instead of how they did it this way so this will be a lot bigger overall it's kind of what i'm imagining but i'll let you guys handle that this is a cold air access as well as so is here underneath this guy but yeah air scrubber somewhere along there pristine air filter probably more towards the bottom of this guy with the whole air handler there and that's that's kind of everything humidifier that um the drain line for this system we need to discuss that uh, there isn't a floor drain as far as what i can see but there is a couple branches we can tie into right here uh, for the drain line for the heat pump access we have just the branches for the laundry line, which might be the easiest to access to. Um, also the copper line set, we're gonna be going ahead and running that through. This I think is gonna be the easiest way to explain it. You'll probably understand it a lot more once you see it. But this is actually connected to a water access right up there that kind of almost looks like a gas access for almost like a gas um, uh, fire pit outside but it's actually just the water line running to and this is that shut off for that water line um, what we can do is we can run the line set through probably do a hole or two right here and then just go ahead and run that straight through drill that on the outside so you can get access to it i think that's going to be the easiest way to go um, because there is this is the living room and they're remodeling this bathroom it should be right on the other side and you can kind of see we even have access up here where that's coming through. I believe on the other side of this is the deck, but that water shut off that that runs to should be literally on the other side of this window right here. Um, we are bringing the AC all the way over to the other side and we're trying to avoid this, um, which you actually, we might be able to do that too and run it directly over and out because that's the outside wall where we're most likely putting the unit out right here. And that's the chimney for the fireplace access. So. That might be something to consider as well. I think they're going to be framing this in for the drywall. I don't think they'd leave that all exposed. But something, something to consider and talk to them about. But that's everything here, guys.